The next thing we're going to do is a sweet and sour meatball. Wild game, sweet and sour meatball. Yeah. Now, there's lots of stuff that you can use. We use what we harvest, right? I won't go and hunt and harvest anything that I don't use. It's not a trophy for me. It's a lifestyle of what I, it's tradition. It's things that I was taught. It was passed on to me. So we don't waste any God's creation um, just for a trophy, just to make that clear with everybody. So what do we have going here now? Oh, look at here. We have, we have ground pork and ground turkey. And believe me, it makes for a great combination. We're gonna start with a big bowl. We're gonna put our meat in here. Turkey's very lean. The next couple days, it'll be turkey season. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit. It'll be turkey season in the state of Michigan. I got that going. We're gonna use a little bit of onion that's been diced. Quarter cup, All right? Green pepper, green pepper. A little bit of that. We have some minced garlic. Get the garlic in there. Bell pepper, red bell pepper, right? Presentation, color, and the sweetness and texture of that pepper. Um, when, when you have great presentation, um, things look really good, people want to eat it. Bread crumbs, gotta have something to bind it together. And we're gonna crack an egg and put it in there. So, that's probably good there. We'll crack an egg. Snap that in there. There we go. I'm gonna mix all this together. I have a website, unclemillie.com. You can get on there and see some of my wild game recipes. I have different spices and sauces that are available. And uh, in the days to come, you'll see me do quite a bit of cooking in there. I'm going to try to do a couple recipes a week, and I will, instead of a pinch of this and a dash of that, I'll try to get it down where I have a tablespoon of this, a cup of this, right? Because I learned from my grandma, and she never really had any recipes. It was watch her, this is how it's done, and that was it, you know? And this is what we had in the end. So you mix this up really good. Now, I need a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm going to put a pinch of pepper, a pinch of salt. Just like that. Now, I also like to use just a little bit of this. Um, it's called Heavenly Garlic. And so I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. This is on Uncle Millie's website, available also in the back of our booth. Just a little bit. This really makes a really nice dip too. And also the horseradish seasoning that I have. Add that to a little bit of mayonnaise, mix it up. It's really good. All right. Try to mix this up thorough. All right, I like to make these in about golf ball size. We're gonna put it on that. Give me one second. Get the cans washed up. Make them in about golf soft ball size balls. That's beautiful. Now the next thing, as he's doing that, I'm gonna tell you about 
how I make a little sauce for them. A little sweet and sour sauce. Here's the back of this. We'll get it. Oh, look at that. Infrared. It's coming hot. Check it out. Right. Yes, sir. A few simple ingredients. A few simple ingredients. Crushed pineapple. Oh, I like the way that's looking there. My mom, my aunts, my sisters, my cousins, we all have competition cook-offs, right? Uh, when we have a gathering, he who or she who has left over in the bowl or plate or platter or whatever they take, um, usually gets ribbed a little bit. Crushed pineapple. A little secret ingredient here is white vinegar. Just a little bit, tablespoon or so. You want the sweet and the sour. You get the acidic from there. Grape juice. Any kind of grape juice, 100%, right? I'm gonna dump that in there. A little bit of that. We'll put this down. Here's the towel. Oh, check that out. We got a couple spoons. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at the finished product here. For what he done. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool, right? Never usually have an assistant like that. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We're gonna put these in the oven. Root vegetables, meatballs, all go right in there. Now sometimes, I like to take and brown them up in a skillet, right, before we go. 